Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today I want to talk about a quick way to create scale figures. So scale figures are kind of like Heather over here. Each version of SketchUp has their own scale figure, and people like to make other scale figures. The whole idea behind them is that they show scale of the model, thus the name scale figure. Uh, but it's almost a rite of passage to put yourself into a scale figure if you're a SketchUp user. Uh, it used to be part of being a new employee at SketchUp. You had to go get your scale figure made and get it up on 3D Warehouse. Uh, if you don't already have it, you should. You should have, a, you should have your own scale figure. Uh, they're not difficult to make, but they are kind of, can be a little bit of a time-consuming process. But with the newest version of SketchUp uh, for desktop, I came across something, I'm like, this makes it really quick and easy, and I want to show you exactly what that is. All right, so what we're going to focus on is creating the outline, the lines that, that make a scale figure. Filling these in, coloring them in, that's paint bucket. I'm not even going to bother with that. I just want to get a white outline of a photo real quick. Now, uh, just to take break down Heather here, you can see here she's uh, got some some line segments here. It's not, not Everything's not smooth, perfect, round lines. Uh, that's fine. This is the way a lot of people draw them. It's it's supposed to be a representation of a human. It does the job. It's perfect. So I have a couple tips I want to throw out there. I'm going to start by importing a reference image. So I did take a picture of myself this morning. I'm going to go ahead and import it. Uh, when you take a picture of somebody for a scale figure, you want to get the camera fairly low because you want the feet to be close to parallel. You've all seen those pictures where you're looking at the person looks like they're standing up on their tiptoes or they're jumping in the air. But this was down about, the camera was about a foot, maybe a foot and a half off the ground. So this was as close to parallel as I could do on my own. Um, I'm going to import it large, bring it nice and big like this. And I'm going to make one change to my styles. And that is my edge. I don't want to use black lines. I want to use something that's going to stand out. So I'm actually going to change this to like a yellow color, so just something bright. I'm wearing red, blue. So as I get around some of these dark things, my hair, it's gonna, that, that black line would disappear. It'd be hard to see what I'm drawing. All right, now I'm gonna come in here. And like I said, generally speaking, what we would do to do this is use a combination of drawing lines and then drawing arcs or possibly downloading the Bezier tool to do this. I'm gonna do the whole thing and I'm gonna do it pretty quickly with freehand. Now, what freehand's gonna let me do is I'm gonna pick a spot like right here and I'm just gonna trace around where my lips are, something like this. I might be a little bit sloppy, I'm trying to go kind of quick. And I'm gonna draw it so that it crosses over itself or comes to a connection. So right there, it crossed over a little bit too much. I'm gonna delete that extra edge and I have a closed piece. I'm gonna grab that tool again and let's see, I'm gonna start this one. I'm gonna come over here up onto my face come around here i'm doing all of this just with a regular mouse too there's no no tablet magic or anything like that and i'm just going to come around like this whoops a little off there i'm just going to bring it down i'm going to cross right over like that this is this is the the tip is finding ways to draw where you can continue to cross over your own line so right here i'm going to start this next one at an endpoint Oops, I didn't, I didn't get into freehand tool. I went to line. I have a shortcut for line. I accidentally tapped on it. All right, so with this, I'm going to come around like this, draw this up. Does this look like my whole hair? I don't, I don't need that much hair anyhow. That's, that's excessive. That is, oh, it's time for haircut. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to cross it into this other piece. You see that? That line started on an endpoint and ends crossing in. Then I just delete this piece off the edge. This, doing it this way is going to allow me to really create a scale figure in a couple minutes as opposed to maybe, you know, like half an hour, hour. You can spend a lot of time on scale figure. Now, I'm, I, I do apologize. I'm going a little bit probably faster and looser than I normally would. I, I want to see if I can finish this whole thing in the time it takes to create one of these videos. So we'll see. How, how close I get. This is going to be an issue, right? Because here I have, I, I'd have to zoom way out to see my whole torso and get my shirt in one go. So I'm going to break this down too. I'm going to go grab my, my, my thing here. I'm going to start on a point here. 
And then maybe I'll come in and trace just my collar like this. Because that's a, a logical break that I might want to put on. And again, cross it in, delete that last piece. Next time, maybe, oh man, not really a good spot to break. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start drawing my upper body like this. I'm going to pick a point. Maybe there's a fold or something. Maybe I'll, I'll try this. I don't know. I'm making things up right now. I'm just going to come straight across like this. And then like this. And then I'm going to cross that in like that. Erase that. Now what I've given myself is kind of a place to pick this up. So I could come here. Grab this corner, maybe trace this around like this. And then I can bring this line up like this. And then maybe get a couple of those wrinkles, something like that. And then if I can, ooh, look at that. I hit right on the end point. So I can just get rid of that line. And that's closed up. Same thing, we'll go grab this right here. Pull this down. And I did mention this at the beginning of the video, but I want to reiterate. This is available in newer versions of SketchUp. So this functionality, this, this, this nice clean drawing of lines isn't something that you're gonna find in like 2018, 2019. Uh, I believe it is the 22 and up version of SketchUp for desktop. It has this improved uh, freehand tool. There we go. All right, look at that. So what what are we in? We're six minutes into this video, and uh, I've got upper half of my body drawn. Um, again, this is not shouldn't be a difficult, long drawn out process, but this is pretty quick. This is definitely going a lot quicker than it would have without the freehand tool. Now I'm just talking a little bit to kind of eat up the space, but uh, I think you guys are getting the idea of what I'm what I'm doing here. So again, here I'm going to try to just cross right in there, and I could undo and redo some of these edges too. So there are spots like this that I'm getting. So because I'm starting each of my line segments on a point and then pulling them around and dropping them back across the line, I just have to delete one piece. But there's some edges that don't look awesome like this right here. So with this guy, I might just come in here and do something like that, erase that. So there's definitely opportunities for cleanup. I'm not saying this is a one and done situation, but you can kind of see. All right, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll shoot for, I'll finish the upper body here. You guys will have the, have a full idea of how this works from there. All right, so let's get this other hand. Oh, I did, no. I couldn't even see my hand. Undo, let's try that again. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out is this, this is definitely not going to give the most perfectly detailed uh, scale figure. And honestly, I'm gonna tell you right now, I think that's good. I think one of the problems that people run into with scale figures is they try to pack everything. I might as well just go for it. I'm just gonna do the whole thing. They try to pack everything they can into their scale figure, right? They get the checkers on their shirts or the, uh, you know, the, the seams and their jeans, every fold, every, everything. And I'm not saying you shouldn't go for that. But again, one of the things we talk a lot about on this channel is creating performant models. And if you have, you know, 10,000 edges just on one scale figure, it might be a little much. Okay, I would probably have to clean that up. That is how my jeans folded, but that that makes me look like I got a kind of a growth issue there. So, all right, so I'm just gonna wrap this these jeans up like this. Try to go just cross over a little bit there, get rid of those two pieces, and then finally, I'm just gonna do my shoes as one one piece, and then one more over here, and again. This might not be my final. This might be just enough to get me started. Maybe I'll go back in and clean that up now. But uh, yeah, so I can see that. Grab that. I'm going to start. I'm going to start by doing this. Just rotate it upwards. There we go. 
and then let's scale it. Grab the tape measure, go from my foot up to my head. That's about six foot two. Yes, there we go. I believe I'm a little taller than Heather. That looks about right. And then finally, just grab all of that, make a component. And then one of the things I want to make sure I do is always face camera, hit create, and there we go. Like I said, I didn't, didn't color it, but I could always come in here and, and, and do that. But gets you an idea of how to get those lines in pretty, in pretty fast fashion. Uh, in fact, I'd say that is the quickest. I've never created a scale figure in less than 10 minutes like that. So this should be taken as a step in a process. The lines are a big important part of it. The rest of it, using color, adding details, sure, absolutely. But man, using that tool, that, that freehand tool, gets you outlined so fast. It's a great way to do it. If you haven't made your scale figure before, give it a shot, give that a try and uh, see what you come up with. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you don't already, please do subscribe. And most importantly, leave us a comment, give us a share. You know, we like hearing what you have and we like when you share us with other people. So help us out with that and have a great day.